But because of this solidarity, because of people's power, because of youth, because of the power of non-violence, the government had no option but to listen to the voices of the people. So the achievements were two mainly. One, uh, the government decided to give a final shape to Forest Rights Act. Uh, the act that was made in order to give land to the Adivasis, the indigenous people of India. So acceptance that an injustice was committed on Adivasis, accepting that that injustice need to be uh, reorganized re, uh, in terms of doing justice to the poor people. So that was one big achievement. The second achievement was um, uh, constitution of a national land reforms committee and council. Now that was one of our major demand that let us understand the, uh, the problem of landlessness in India and let us create a mechanism to deal with it. So the committee was to go around the country uh, and understand the level of landlessness, level of poverty and how landlessness and poverty are related. So the committee did their job. They went around the country, they brought their recommendations and there are about very, very interesting 300 recommendations on the table of the Prime Minister. The second one was called Council, National Land Reforms Council and the Prime Minister is heading the Council. I am a member of the Council. Uh, so the Council is supposed to look at those recommendations and formulate a National Land Reforms policy. Now that is where the problem began because in spite of all the recommendations of the committee on the table, in 2009, beginning of 2009, we waited for 2009, 10, 11 and we said okay, this is not working so we need to now act again. So the, there were two major achievements but both the achievements were partially done and not fully uh, done and that is the reason why we are now speaking in terms of a second round of action to make the government to act.